Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to have a look at the world's most expensive coffees. Where do they come from, how do they taste, and are they worth the price tag? The first coffee we're going to look at is called Finca El Ingeto. It comes from a family owned farm in the highlands of Guatemala. At $500 per pound, Finca El Ingeto is one of the world's most expensive and sought after coffees. It has a sweet, fruity, earthy taste with a hint of chocolate. It has a smooth but heavy body and a buttery, milky texture with a pleasant aftertaste. The next coffee is perhaps the world's most notorious expensive coffee. The world famous Coffee Luat coffee comes about when civet cats consume the coffee cherries and then excrete the pits of the cherries from which the coffee is then brewed. Kopi Luwak is originally from Indonesia and because of its unique intestinal processing method has a much reduced bitterness than when compared to regular coffee. Featuring a mellow floral texture reminiscent of black tea, Kopi Luwak in its traditional form can cost between $500 to $700 a kilo. The temperature and humid climate in the Blue Mountains of Jamaica produces some exceptional and highly sought after coffee. Known as Jamaica Blue Mountain, this coffee has a mild, slightly fruity, not so bitter flavor. At around $60 to $80 a pound, it is highly popular in Japan with over 80% of Blue Mountain coffee being exported to the Japanese market. Fourth on our list is Lost Plains Coffee from El Salvador. This award-winning coffee takes single origin one step further and is from a single estate. Lost Plains Coffee is often described as having a sweet butterscotch taste with a refreshing tangerine twist. It is characterized by a medium body with lemon-like acidity. There is also a hint of milk chocolate and nuttiness in the cup. The finish on the coffee has a shortbread cookie vibe with some baking spice notes. At around $40 a pound, this is one coffee we highly recommend trying. Black Ivory Coffee from Thailand shares a lot in common with Coffee Luwak. Instead of being digested by civet cats, Black Ivory Coffee beans have been digested by elephants. The coffee cherries pass through the elephant's intestines over 72 hours, removing the bitter proteins of the beans. Only 150 kilos are produced each year and prices often reach over $1,000 per pound. The first sip of black ivory coffee has fruity notes with hints of butter, leather, malt, and earth. Rather than bitterness, you can taste fresh grass on your palate. As the cup cools to room temperature, it develops an enticing chocolate-like aroma. It has a delightful velvety aftertaste that lingers on your palate after every sip. Its finish is full of extended caramel and chocolate notes that leave you craving more. The acidity is well balanced resulting in a smooth taste. Black Ivory Coffee ranks top among the most distinctive cups of coffee you'll ever taste. Unfortunately however, this process just can't be replicated with modern machinery. The next coffee is a single estate coffee and goes by the name HR61 Hacienda El Roble. Named after the lot and the farm in Colombia that this unique coffee plant is grown on. Only 22 kilos are produced each year. Like other Colombian varieties, HR61 is loved for its floral tasting notes and clean finish. It has a creamy body and lemon lime acidity. There are undertones of milk chocolate and caramel. Just one roasting company roasts and sells this coffee and it is available through cupping sessions available at the cafe. HR61 will set you back $100 per 100 gram bag or $30 per cup. At number seven, we have the Espina Dynasty Grand Cafe Premier Grand Cru from Colombia. Known as one of the most luxurious and sought after coffee products in the world, it is produced from rare Colombian Arabica Tibica coffee trees. It is grown at 7,500 feet altitude in the Anticoya province in Colombia. The coffee fruit is hand-picked, fermented, and sun-dried. This Arabica coffee has a creamy, velvety, vibrant, and bold body. Its complex, rich flavor bursts with notes of chocolate, coconut, berries, and macadamia. The complex and fruity aroma is reminiscent of peach, jasmine, almond, caramel, and orange. The aftertaste is fruity, crisp, clean, and refreshing much like a sophisticated glass of wine. These beans can cost between $150 to $750 per pound. At eighth on our list is Hacienda La Esmeralda, a delicious single estate coffee cultivated in the lush region of Baquet, Panama. The berries are grown on heirloom geisha trees 1,500 meters above sea level under the natural shades of guava trees. Hacienda La Esmeralda is one of the most awarded coffees lauded by connoisseurs and coffee experts around the world. These beans are famous for their fresh citrus taste and tea-like profile. 
At first, the Hacienda La Esmeralda strikes your palate with a penetrating floral sweetness. Afterward, there are hints of peach, pomegranate, and strawberry. One of the reasons for its fame and high price tag of $100 per pound is because the harvest is so small. Many experts describe Hacienda La Esmeralda as the most unique and distinctive coffee ever grown. The next coffee is cheaper at $44 per pound, but is also highly popular. El Marito de Fatima from Guatemala is impossible to buy in most countries as it's usually picked up by Taiwanese and Japanese buyers at auctions. The El Marito Pandora de Fatima is known for its clean, heavy body and layered flavor profile. It has soft citrus notes and pleasant balanced acidity. The dense mouthfeel has hints of sweet vanilla, walnut, caramel, jam, butterscotch, baker's chocolate, and cherry. Last but not least is St. Helena's Coffee. St. Helena's Coffee may be recognized from its shelf space at popular Starbucks cafes. Although grown on a small island in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, the beans themselves originate from Yemen in Africa. The combination of plants, environment, and climate work to develop a unique taste and aroma that coffee lovers the world over seek out and pay a premium price for. St. Helena's coffee is often described by various tasters as complex, fruity, and wine-like, with hints of spices, chocolate, and caramel. Pounds of beans often go for around $145 or more. Hopefully you have enjoyed our top 10 picks for the most expensive coffees throughout the world. We'd love to hear what you think and what your favorite cup of coffee is, so feel free to leave your comment in the section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you in the next video.